Hi, I'm Pam Ferris, and I am a Democrat running for state representative in the 48th district. And the legislative priorities that I would like to tackle next year include protecting people in the 48th district. I am very interested in working on educational issues from pre-K through higher education because I think they all work together to help educate the young people that we have in Michigan and do some re-education for those that are looking for new jobs or retraining. I would uh, have a great interest in working on some job creation to help people in the 48th district expand uh, good paying jobs that they can have and economic development would play all into all of those other aspects of it. So I uh, am interested in working on those types of things. I also believe that we need to increase the local revenue sharing so that all of us feel safe within our homes. We can have the police and fire departments there when we need them and, and we are provided the services that we are paying for and need in our own communities. Now, what are my views on charter schools and vouchers? Um, yeah, I, I think I need to have them proven to make sure that we are providing good quality education with charter schools and, and vouchers, I am against vouchers, but with charter schools, I think there was a purpose for charter schools. I want to see the outcomes of those before we expand them any further in Michigan. Emergency managers are um, quite the topic, especially locally in the Genesee County Flint area, and I do not believe in the emergency manager law that was instituted this year that they have come in and taken over the city of Flint and a number of school districts. I believe that the state has put a stranglehold on city and educational funding and in doing that it is causing part of the problem with what's happening. They need to not put the stranglehold on, on cities, on townships, and on uh, school districts so that they can provide the services that are needed. If they can work with them I believe that we can come to better results than using an emergency manager in order to uh, get past these economic times. I, I don't believe you put this stronghold on them and then try to work your way out of them by taking over those municipalities and school districts. And my position on extending disclosure requirements for the Michigan Campaign Finance Act, whether it should include the Supreme Court candidates. I personally believe that we all need to know what who is paying for the advertising that's on TV and the radio and all of the things that you're receiving in the mail. I think those, uh, everyone needs to report where their money is coming in from and where it's going out. And judicial candidates, Supreme Court candidates are nominated at the Democratic Convention or the Republican Convention and I believe that they really need to run not as nonpartisans but as partisans on the ballot. They, you know, the three Supreme Court nominees put up by each party this year should have Republican or Democrat after their name, and we should know where all of the money is coming from to pay for the advertising, the mail, the phone calls everyone is tired of getting, and uh, so forth. So those are some of the ideas I want to work on, and I would appreciate your vote on November 6th.